Hey guys, Ernie Hiker MD here. We're gonna do a little comparison today between two stoves that I've built and two stoves that I've used in the past. The first is a typical soda can stove. It does have a double wall construction. It does not have any uh, wicking material on the inside. I've got jets all the way around it. Very typical type stove that you can make. Uh, there are a million YouTube channels on how to do it, videos on how to do it, so check those out. The second is, and, and coincidentally, I use that with a pot stand that I made simply out of chicken wire. So it basically sits like that, pot sits on top. Now, the new stove that I just built, for several reasons, which I'll tell you, is a cat can stove. This is a fancy feast can. On the inside, we have a tomato paste can, and in between, wedged between, the Fancy Feast can and the tomato paste can is carbon felt. Now, the reason I did this was to try to increase efficiency and increase the amount of time that alcohol would last inside of this stove. So today we're going to answer a question that I have and maybe some of you guys have who are in between these two types of stoves. I'm gonna use one ounce of heat fuel in each and I'm going to try to boil two cups of water. I'm going to time how long it takes to boil the water and then also how long it takes for the alcohol to burn off and stop burning. Now one important thing on this fancy feast stove, if you guys will notice, I did put two vent holes on the inside to stop, or excuse me, to allow the vapors to come out. If not, you will get overflow of alcohol onto wherever this is sitting. And a lot of times you don't want burning alcohol flipping out over the side. So one ounce of fuel, two cups of water a timer, and we're gonna see which of these stoves reigns supreme. All right guys, so here's our two stoves. I'm gonna go ahead and light them. I'm gonna light the soda can first. And I'm gonna go ahead and light the cat can. Now, one thing that's immediately noticeable is that the cat can is essentially ready to go right away. I have to wait for the soda can to bloom. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. I think it's reasonable to use it at the same time because part of the cat can, or excuse me, part of the soda can is waiting for it to bloom. And there it is. So we're going to put our cup on. One thing that I will note about these two is that the cat can stove is very efficient on staying on the bottom of the cup whereas the soda can seems to as you can see shower the flames all along the sides and I think it's less efficient than the cat can. Again we'll notice and it's clear that the soda can stove certainly seems to be much hotter and is much hotter but much less efficient. That's a lot of the reason that I believe that the cat can stove is so much more efficient. I'll note that both were filled with one ounce of heat prior to starting the test. Just to emphasize the efficiency and the targeting of the flame of the cat can stove, I can easily put my hand here and I don't feel anything whatsoever. Now I won't keep this here very long because it very quickly gets hot you can see the flames flipping along the side of the Esbit pot. Over here on the Tokes 750 milliliter pot, it is just hovering on the bottom and really doing a good job of sticking the flame to the bottom of the actual pot. Now, I will say that I'm very well aware that my can stove is probably not the most efficient model. It does not have any kind of wicking on the inside and of course that grants the cat can stove a lot more efficiency because it has the carbon felt. Now, as we can see right now, I'll turn my phone back on for us. Water's boiling, which is actually very fast for this stove and we're at 6 minutes 14 seconds. We are now at 7 minutes and the soda can stove is out. The fire is no longer lit and I can tell you that compared to my prior tests this was actually a very fast burn 
for this particular stove. Okay, we just hit the 8 minute 30 second mark and that's when we started to get a boil on our cat can stove. You can see it's a full rolling boil. Uh, I marked it at 8 minutes 30 seconds, which consistently with this, between 8 minutes and 15 seconds and 8 minutes and 30 seconds, I get a rolling boil. Now I can tell you from standing on the side that the stove is still lit and it is still going strong. So now we'll finish our test by seeing how much longer the actual stove will stay lit on the one ounce of heat fuel. We are at 11 minutes 15 seconds and the cat can stove flame is still going strong. Should be going out here inside of the next two minutes. Alright guys we are up to 14 minutes. Cat can still going strong. Definitely burning longer than what I've seen before and I think that is again because of the ambient temperatures. The temperature in the room is a little bit warmer than normal and there's no wind whatsoever. I'm hoping to be able to repeat this test in the cold out in the field at some point in the next month or so. Alright, now the stove is just starting to burn down a little bit. And alright guys, we are at 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Stove is still trickling, but I would say essentially out. The boil has come to a stop. So this ends our session on the comparison between one ounce of fuel, in this particular case heat fuel, in both an insulated cat can stove and a non-insulated soda can stove. Alright guys, so that wraps up our stove test. So clearly the soda can stove burns much hotter and much uh, faster and the actual alcohol lasts pretty much half as long or less than half as long as the actual cat can stove. Now I'm sure if I put some felt on the inside of this particular stove model, the efficiency would increase quite a bit. Now the reason I'm gonna stick with this cat can stove is simple, weight. This is much, this weighs much less. And no matter what, if I use this stove, I have to have a pot stand or else it'll snuff it out. So, in my opinion, the Fancy Feast insulated cat stove wins, and I hope this video has been somewhat helpful for you guys. I've been using these, uh, I've been using the soda can for a while, and I just decided I wanted something more efficient. I got the carbon felt, and it made all the difference. So, any comments from you guys would be much appreciated. If you like the video, like down here. If you like to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe over here as well. And uh, we look forward to continuing more videos for you guys here on HikerMD. So I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.